in Eugene, Oregon, with three ladies who have just punched their ticket to London in the women's 1500 meters. Big smiles, Morgan, you've made your first Olympic team. What are your thoughts? I'm just so excited. You know, it's, it's a dream come true, and I've been thinking about this day for so long. You know, on that last lap, we, you think about it, but you try to, like, keep calm and do what you do, but I've been consistent for a long time, and it finally came through. Shannon? Four years ago, you were seventh at this event. Uh, what are your hopes when you get to London? I want to be on that podium. Uh, it's It's been a long four years. Last year was a tough one, but came back strong this year, and I'm ready for August. And Jenny, you're the defending the reigning world champion, and now you're headed to the games in this event. What does this mean to you? Oh, man. I mean, coming out in the home stretch is hard because you know you're on the team, and all you can do is, is mess it up at this point. So that's the hardest 100 meters of my life, but just a relief. and. Um, everyone, please, prayers to Waldo Canyon Fire Victims. Uh, I'm from there and excited to be able to go home and help out. All right, Jenny, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, Tom, back up to you. All right, Lewis, Jenny uh, lives in Monument, Colorado and uh, trains at the Air Force Academy and, of course, many of her friends uh, involved in that Waldo Canyon fire. And she's been very concerned about their fate uh, while she's been here. In fact, her home had not been affected yet, but she had several of her friends staying there who had been evacuated from her own homes in the Colorado Springs area. Well, that's the women's team. Now the men have their chance as we come to the men's 1,500-meter final. And there's Matt Centrowitz, the bronze medalist at the World Championships last year and former Oregon All-American. Lots of other great stories in this field as well. Centrowitz, of course, very much a local favorite, but he's joined by former teammate Andrew Weeding, who represented the U.S. in the 800 meters. The tall Andrew Weeding with the green on towards the back of the field right now represented the U.S. in 800 meters in Beijing. And another uh, Oregon Duck, Jordan McNamara, moves out to take the early lead in this 1,500-meter final. So lots of talk before the start of this. I met with several of these athletes over the last few days, including Will Lear, who's in second place right now. These are guys who do not have the qualifying time for London, and they said, we're going to work together, we're going to run a fast pace, we're going to get that qualifying time in this race. That way, if we finish in the top three, we get to go to London. McNamara is one of those athletes who needs that qualifying time. Here are the athletes that have the London A standard at 1,500 meters. Anyone else would have to achieve it in this race. Jordan McNamara is out in front. Will Lear is in second. Centrowitz in third. Leo Manzano is fourth. Then John Mikowski in fifth. And Andrew Weeding starting to move up from sixth place. And you see Lear taking lead now. That was the deal. One of them would lead for the first lap. Somebody would try to take it all the way to 900 meters, meaning they'd have a lap and a half to go. Now, Centrowitz and Manzano in third and fourth, they have the A standard, and they're in perfect position. In fact, this, this kind of pace is friendly to them. They can just tuck in on the inside, follow easily, and Centrowitz in third place, he always looks good. Lear leads McNamara, Centrowitz. Making a move here, John Mikowski in the golden black. Two laps remaining. Mikowski was supposed to be part of that group that would help push the pace. And you saw Centowitz get stuck on the inside for a minute when Mikowski went by. He just simply stepped outside and got right back into the right place. Number five on his hip in the all black, Matthew Centowitz, his father, former American record holder at 5,000 meters. And it's Centowitz who won the, won the bronze medal last year in Daegu always seems to put himself in the right position at the right time. And you notice how he stepped out in front when it looked like somebody would go out and go outside of him. Mikowski uh, takes the lead and Centrowitz goes with him. Now it's Lear and McNamara after that. So the pace has slipped now. This will not be a fast race. It's going to be one of those championship races where position is everything. And the guy moving around on the outside on the left of your screen, Manzano, always puts himself in a good position. Torrance right ahead of him has been the hot guy on the circuit this year. And it looks like Torrance is going to try to move up as they come to a lap to go. There's the final lap. And Matt Centrowitz now takes over the lead. So Centrowitz is in front with Torrance there. McNamara's trying to hold on, and Manzano, Weedy now begins to make his move down the back stretch. He's in fifth place. Manzano, training partner, he's in third from the left of the screen. Training partner of Shannon Rober, who just made the team. And look, Robbie Andrews now flying down the back stretch. He's just past Weedy. He's in the orange. And those two are going to hook up because they both like to come from. Come the on, David. Come on, baby. 
It's a good position to be in, but it's harder to wind up your speed from the front. The guys coming from the back have a better shot. Sankiewicz has the lead. Manzano is there. Shit. Andrews trying to close him, so is we. Torrance isn't going to make the team. And Sankiewicz, Manzano wins it. Sankiewicz second, Weeding is third. Oh. And third, eight, at four years later, he comes back with a big stretch run to make it once again mean, third place for Weedy. And the crowd with a lot of applause. Manzano from the University of Texas, but then two Oregon Ducks, Matt Centrowitz and Andrew Weedy. And let it be said, Centrowitz had minor knee surgery in April. Weeding's been suffering from a hamstring problem all year. If these guys can be healthy over the next few weeks, this U.S. team will be very strong in London. So there are the final results and your U.S. 1500 meter team, Monsanto, Centrowitz, and Weedy. And the Weedy, the crowd loves him, and he got up for third. Monsanto, the champion.